Good morning, boys and girls. Today, we are going to learn how to remove an old website and reinstall WordPress. So here you see we have uh, OpenCart. It has, you know, the OpenCart content management system, which we want to remove, and we want to replace this with the WordPress content management system. So one of the first things I'm going to do is log into my PHP my admin because I'm going to use the same database. And uh, under this uh, database, I am going to drop everything here. So I'm going to scroll to the bottom. I'm going to hit check all my PHP admin and then hit drop. Just like so. Click yes. And now you can see that there's nothing in this particular place. And if I refresh, you can see that the database is now gone. There are no records. Now the next thing I need to get rid of is all the files that come with the OpenCore system. And we're going to do this via SSH. So let's log into our, uh, oh, by the way, you have to have SSH enabled on your server to do this stuff. But you can see how nice and fast and easy it is. And so what we want to do is just log in here. And we are here, and if I hit ls, you get to see all the files and directories in there. I'm going to go cd public underscore html. And if I list all the files in there, you can see I have everything in there. Now, notice my CGI bin. I don't want to remove that, okay? So we're going to do this the long way um, so that we don't remove our CGI bin. Okay, now to remove a directory, we have a directory here called the admin. Okay, I'm going to copy this, and I want the admin directory gone. So I'm going to simply hit rm hyphen r, and then I'm going to paste in the admin directory. I don't need the, the forward slash on the end. And this will remove the admin directory. Now if we go ls once again, we can see that the admin directory and all the files within it are gone. Okay, now here's catalog. So I would just rm hyphen r c a t a l o g just like that and if i hit ls to see you can see the catalog's gone now i can hit type in clear c l e a r that'll clear everything out so i could start over see what else i got to remove there's images in there so rm hyphen r i m a g e and then my image directory should be gone and there's system rm hyphen r s y s T -E -M, and you'll notice if I go LS that those things are gone now. Um, we want to remove all of this except the CGI bin. Okay, so you can actually right click a copy and then just type in RM because this is a file, this is not a directory. So I'm just going to type in RM and so it removes that, that file. So you see cross domain XML and here's config. Now I copied all of the database information out of that config file, so I have it for my WordPress. And let's remove the config file, just like that. LS, we have index, PHP, INI, so we can remove these. Copy, RM, paste, and then RM on index, PHP, we'll remove that. LS. And I want to get cleared down to where I am just seeing the CGI bin. Now, if you want to see hidden files, you go ls hyphen a, and you can see any hidden files that are in there too. So, um, if you can't see them to begin with, so let's copy this, hit rm, paste that in there. All right, and let's remove the FTP quota. Copy. It'll regenerate itself with a new WordPress CMS. All right, so now I just have CGI bin in there. Okay, so I'm gonna clear this out to give me a nice blank work spot. And if we look at this, the serv server on the front end, we'll refresh the website, you see it says index of, and then we have just the CGI bin. So now let's go get the WordPress file, shall we? We type in WGET HTTP colon slash slash WordPress dot o-r-g hyphen l-a-t-e-s-t dot z-i-p okay now what this is going to do is go get this the uh the files from wordpress but we have to put no check certificate no check whoop not all the time do you have to do this but most of the time c-e-r-t-i-f-a if you have security on your server like i do now notice it Brought in all the files, just like that. It's nice and fast, and there's a file called latest. So now what we have to do is extract 
latest okay so clear things up a bit let me just do this and we're going to type in unzip l-a-t-e-s-t dot z-i-p okay now if we look at it now we see we have a wordpress directory in there now we want to move everything from inside this word directory to our root directory which is, which is the public html that we're in so we use the move command mv wordpress all and then we just want to move it up one directory okay now if we type in ls we should see all kind of wordpress files and we do files and directories so now we can remove latest.zip of that because we don't need it anymore right ls and so here are all our wordpress files and we're ready to install the wordpress cms so we're going to go back here we're going to refresh this page and now we get our wordpress install script so we're going to get the database name username password database host and we're going to enter them right here i'm going to pause the video as i enter it then that away you know for security purposes obviously Okay, I hit, hit submit, and now I get to this page right here where it says run the install. So I'm going to run the install, and we're going to call this uh, uh, D-E-C-A-S-T-E-R-O-I-D. And let's go ahead and make us a password. Um, let's go 123-A-B-C. Okay, we'll confirm the use of a weak password. Put in my email there. And then install the WordPress. And then, so we can log in. Maximus, one, two, three, ABC. One, two, three, ABC. Uh, sometimes it'll remember. And now, voila, we have our WordPress, and you know, we have front end of the site there so that's how you remove an old content management system and replace it with a new updated content management system this is max with avon website pro i hope i was able to help somebody with this tutorial